Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone, and if you love cookies, you're at the right spot. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make these amazing brown butter and walnut cookies using walnut oil, and then ice them with a bourbon icing. They're super, super good. I'm using this walnut oil from La Tourangelle, which is one of my personal favorites. I think you're gonna love it, so let's get to making it. So the first part of this recipe requires us to brown the butter. Now, it's really important when you're browning butter, you wanna use a pan that's reflective. So you wouldn't wanna use a non-stick sort of Teflon pan because you're not gonna actually be able to see when the fat from the butter starts to brown and caramelize, and you're more likely to burn it. I'm just doing this over a medium heat. Once the butter melts, it'll start to foam up, and what you're gonna look for is these little brown speckles that start to form. The best part about browning butter is actually the smell. Well, okay, maybe the flavor too, but it smells really, really good. As you can see here, the butter starting to, this layer of foam on top, it's all melted now. So it's just a matter of time before it starts to bubble and then we'll get the great little brown specks that start to form on the bottom of the pan. Nice light browns coming through. Just keep that moving around, don't let them burn. Once it starts to turn, it goes really fast. So you really have to keep, keep an eye on it. Once it browns, you remove it from the heat and put it somewhere cool, set it on a cool surface kind of reduce adding any more heat to the butter. So now that it's cooled, we're gonna add that in first, along with our brown sugar and our granulated sugar. And now I'm just gonna mix all this together using the stand mixer. The next thing that we're gonna add in is our beaten eggs, and also that our vanilla extract is in there along with our salt. And just mix this together, also using a stand mixer. We're gonna add in a third of a cup of the roasted walnut oil by La Tourangelle. I can just mix that with the spatula. I'm just going to put the mixer on low, adding in a bit at a time, add in the flour. I'm using bread flour here, and the reason I'm using bread flour instead of all-purpose flour is bread flour is really great at absorbing liquid. It's sort of built for that. And since we're using this delicious walnut oil, it's going to hold on to that moisture in the cookies, which is going to be an amazing cookie. Stop for a second and I'm going to scrape down the sides here sure we get it all. You can just smell that walnut oil. It goes really well with the brown butter. Next I'm going to add in a third cup of chopped walnuts. I just run this a little bit just to kind of fold them all in. So we're just going to put this in the fridge and let it sit for an hour and then we'll roll it out into balls and then bake it. So now we're gonna make our icing for the cookies. So it's delicious uh, bourbon icing. So just have some sifted powdered sugar there. I'm gonna add in some vanilla extract and some milk. And once again, I'll put the full ingredients that are required for this recipe in the show notes. Just gonna mix that together a little bit. And then we're gonna add in some bourbon. This icing is delicious. It goes so well with the brown butter and the walnuts. There you go. Now that the dough is chilled, we're just gonna roll it into balls here and place it on a parchment lined baking sheet and then bake them for about 15 minutes. After you bake the cookies, just transfer them to a cooling rack and let them cool before icing them. Now that the cookies have cooled, we're just gonna use our bourbon icing. So how great do these look, right? Enjoy. This recipe is brought to you by La Tourangelle.